Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday Connections. Today is Tuesday, November the 1st. May the grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you today. Amen. Such a, a, a good day. I want to share with you a little bit about what I've been uh, kind of meditating on the past few days. Uh, first, let me give you a couple of announcements. Actually, just two today. There's not much going on. This is the, the last breath. Well, actually, there's always a lot going on. This is kind of a last breath before our Christmas season begins, uh, our Advent season. Table on Delk is meeting this Thursday at 10 o'clock in the CLC kitchen to make sandwiches for the, the ladies and the children over um, uh, that are a part of that ministry. If you've got a little extra time on Thursday morning, come, come out and help make some sandwiches. That would be wonderful. Isn't it good to hear the sound of children? Love the sound of kids. We need to, to understand that this is uh, the future of, of our church. So, um, Second announcement is uh, if you signed up for Advent Devotionals to so do an Advent Devotional, thank you so much for doing that. We have all the slots full, so praise God. Now we actually need your submissions. The deadline was yesterday, so uh, make sure that you get those submissions in ASAP. Carolyn Waters will be in the office. We'll be very thankful. Uh, so that we can get that book out to our congregation by the beginning of Advent, which is at the end of this month. So yesterday, yesterday marked uh, eight years since my mom passed away. And I've been thinking about that a lot. And, and uh, you know, grief, grief is a real thing. It's something that never truly goes away. It, it gets a little easier to bear as we get stronger. But uh, those of you who have lost loved ones, uh, parents or spouses or children, you understand um, kind of kind of the, the mood and and the the ponderings that that uh, that certain dates put you into. I woke up on October 31st, eight years ago, uh, expecting to have a, a normal day, and got a phone call on my way into the the church office that that she was gone, uh, and uh, and it just. It just made me realize and think about how, you know, we, we never know what's around the corner. Sometimes we, we can't see. Sometimes there are things coming that we're, we're completely oblivious to. Or we, can't, we can't really see what it is, but, um, but we are reminded that we can trust God with every turn, even when we can't see clearly, even we don't, we don't know if it's Him or not. Sometimes it, maybe it's, it's something that we think is, is not Him, but, but it actually is Him. Uh, I'm, I'm reminded of the story in, uh, in Matthew chapter 14 of the disciples who went out on the boat. And they go out on the boat and um, as they're out there, uh, Jesus is, comes to them. He's, he's off on the mountain praying and he comes to them walking on the water. And uh, it says this, and, and, and I'm reminded of this story. Let me, let me say this too, because I woke up this morning and I got a, a, a notification on my Alexa that, that uh, there was a National Weather Service had issued a fog advisory. And I went outside and I couldn't see hardly anything. And I'm like, that's, that's really what, what, what I'm dealing with. You, you, can't, you can't see what's around the corner because there's some fog that's settled into uh, to what's going on. So the disciples are out on the boat and Jesus is walking on the water and, and he comes to them and it says shortly before dawn Jesus went out to meet them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. They couldn't tell that it was really him. They thought maybe it's a ghost, which is not the Lord, you know, that's scary. Uh, but Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It is the Lord. Lord, if it's you. So Peter still has this question. I'm not really sure, but if it is you, if it's truly you, uh, tell me to come out on the water. And Jesus said, come. Lord, if it's really you, give me some sense that this is really you. Give me some sense. Call me out in faith to step into this moment, to see, to open my eyes, to, to see the reality, to fall into your arms, to walk with you, whatever it takes and whatever we need, God is there for us. Even when we cannot see very well because the fog of life has settled in, even when we can't see what's around the corner, the Lord cares for us. The Lord loves you, dear friends, and he is there for you. You can trust him and you can come to him. That is his invitation. And so I hope you will. God bless you, dear friends. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.